Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the mini love forecast for April 2000, <clears throat> I'm sorry, April 18th, 2016 to April 24th, 2016 for the Virgo. So we're going to look at, <clears throat> I swear my voice was just normal and I'm drinking my ginger tea, so it's coming back. Um, okay, I'm just real thirsty. I need to drink like two or three bottles of water. All right, so I'm going to look at the currents and the past and the future. <clears throat> it's like I got to, like, you know how something kind of, I just need to drink. Hold on. Okay, I'm drinking ginger tea. Okay. So past, present, future, and I'm gonna cut. So I know my last reading for the Virgo was a little volatile, so hopefully next week will be better. Oh, that's so wonderful. You got the Queen of Cups. So Virgo, the Queen of Cups is all over you. She is so sweet. Oh, she's so sweet. And she's loyal. <clears throat> she's very emotional. She's very fertile. She's marriage material. And so this is a literal person. This can either be male or female. If you're single, that means that next week, someone's coming into your life. This is a literal person, okay? If you ever want to know why psychics say that, it's because of the court cards in the tarot deck. Um, also, if we... Um, I can do readings without tarot cards. I just like to use them for the visual. And also the inspiration because I'm inspired by art. And so the Queen of Cups, she's so sweet. And um, it's a really good, good card to get for a love reading. Now the past, Virgo, you got the Ten of Wands. Um, you were carrying a heavy burden but you were strong enough to carry that burden. So right now that you've gotten over that burden and you've carried all of this burden, okay, now that you've gotten over that, you can go ahead and kick back and relax and step away from that situation. The appearance of the Ten of Wands signifies a hard place or a hardship in the relationship. Um, that you're, either you, your partner, or both are going through, um, but just need your support. So the 10 is a beautiful number <clears throat> for love. And then in the future, you got the emperor. So um, this is a major arcana. Um, I like the meaning in the deviant tarot. Let me find out what that is. I'm still learning because I am always going to use this deck. So eventually I'm going to know the deck by heart. But of course, the emperor in, um, the, uh, it's definitely a win. And the emperor in the regular tarot just basically means a very dominant man is what that means. And so for a lot of you Virgos out there, um, you're going to be um, meeting someone that is that is dominant that is the head of his household okay he's the man he makes the decisions and the woman is supposed to back him up and that's just and it's not necessarily that he makes all the decisions i mean he allows her to make decisions but they make different decisions and it works together the energies does so um the emperor is a really good card to get um, for a future card for if you're single as well because um, that means for a lot of you Virgos that um, um, sometimes I see the Emperor as a literal person also as the as the tarot card reader I see the Emperor as a as a person but also just to remind you that there's going to be this big achievement and for some of you Virgos you're going to be attracted to someone that may be older than you um, and the attraction is not necessarily mutual from the beginning maybe it is maybe the physical attraction wasn't mutual from the beginning but being persistent and patient 
is like it looks like it's going to grow. That's what this card means um, in a love reading because it's about growth. The Emperor is a major arcana. And um, this is a man that rules with an iron fist. So for some of you Virgos, Virgo women, you are going to meet a man that is like this. And then for you men, you are going to become this alpha. I mean, you know, I mean, usually Virgos are very reserved and actually loners a little bit. Okay. Um, so for them to be social at all, um, so, you know, that person had to have been, you know, had to have impressed them. So um, it just shows a person that's assertive. And someone that when they're faced with hard choices, they're able to maintain their concentration and focus. So I get the sense that for some of you who are dating Virgos, because I get you guys coming in, looking at your boyfriend or girlfriend's reading every time I upload a video. So this, this shows that, um, you know, there was definitely a hard time with, it was like a power struggle of some sort. And, you know, I think that some people have a hard time admitting when they're wrong um, more than, than what we know. But um, it just shows that you used confidence and self-control and focus. And you made a huge difference, okay? So, um, that's going to do it, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, make sure that you subscribe and thumbs up this video. And if you want a personalized reading, I do same-day readings. And I'm also live on my website a lot. So, you can chat with me throughout the day. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye.